how many people are in your batch? 250. And how many have gotten placement? Only one have received a placement of highest, and it's around like nine LPA. He's actually one of the few people. Around 50 people got a bounty as soon as they joined the Web3 cohort. He's one of them. He won a hundred dollar bounty after he joined the cohort. He converted that bounty into a bigger bounty for Super Team and won two thousand dollars over there. Hi everyone and welcome to a new pod. Today we have Vijay who has recently gotten into a remote startup from Europe in Web3. He is actually one of the few people around 50 people got a bounty as soon as they joined the Web3 cohort. He is one of them. He won a $100 bounty after he joined the cohort. He converted that bounty into a bigger bounty for Super Team and won $2000 over there. and now got a an internship offer for the next 6 months which may or may not convert to full time from a web3 company in europe we'll understand how to learn web3 we'll keep the conversations there or you know what full stack is needed for there what is his background what all technologies he used to get the grant for 2000 dollars or the internship offer uh, how can you learn web3 in india he's also in his fourth year currently in college so we'll understand how at such a young age you can you know try and aim for web3 companies with that vijay welcome to the pod can we get a brief introduction yeah sure so myself vijay and i'm currently in my final year uh, specialized in currently doing a uh, bachelor's in technology uh, specialized in computer science and technology and uh, i recently grabbed a uh, remote contract work from a european based web3 startup and yeah uh, and uh, my coding journey actually starts from 11th class and where i got induced with python and i built some mini games over there and soon as i moved to college i uh, got into like the web stuff final stage of first year i uh, like got into some of the freelancing uh, thr- through your videos itself and yeah uh, i got a great profile over fiverr and freelancer.com mm-hmm. and through through that i grabbed some clients and uh, basically a full stack project and uh, during my second year i got to know about the open source stuff on third year i actually applied for google summer of code and actually got into one of an organization and worked over a specific project there and which is actually a leading point in my whole college life uh, from there i got to know there exist a web3 stuff so from your cohort 3 i uh, got into like dive into the solana part and initially it was solana right so uh, i basically started from there like basically front end stuff and uh, the solana integration around the client side there was a competition itself uh, like mini hackathon and where i built a platform called intouch so it it's, it was also a idea proposed by you so it's actually like connecting creators with their audience mm-hmm. so uh, the audience can send directly messages to the creators by having a prioritized dm like if i'm starting a youtube channel and if i need some suggestions on how to build stuff then i can just directly dm the creators whoever is on the youtube and the high amount you pay the more frequent they see your chats over the uh, dashboard and yeah that actually got me a bounty from uh, 100x team and and i actually modified the project a little bit and applied for super team grant also and it actually got me around like 2k and a position of a member in super team india nice it's very cool and how did you then so you said you did a bunch of freelancing bounties <clears throat> how did you get your contractual work internship whatever you're talking about here how did you approach the founder or what was the interview process like uh, since i was a member so it was actually easy to get into so after 2 months being a member i actually randomly see a listing of a super team earn website and they are looking out for a, a full stack engineers mm-hmm. and i when i try to apply for it, the I, the listing actually got expired there is a contact section over uh, on the website itself so i just dm the person uh, through the telegram so he was basically the founder i didn't know that but i just dm him and shared my proof of work uh, like ha- having some prs in my that done my in my jisok as well as some of the stuffs so he actually got inspired and he scheduled a interview like uh, so it's basically just a dm turned into an offer got it very good yeah. how how was the interview process so the interview was basically pretty chill so there were two rounds uh, one was technical and another was a vibe vibe check round and the technical round consists of 
like the founder itself he himself was a dev another a full stack engineer also so there are two members and they actually like told me to share my screen and just uh, show me show all the projects i have done and then they just uh, asked me to like uh, why you implement this x and why you uh, what's the reason for that for example like say if uh, storing users password right so we do hashing and store in db so was the code actual code uh, can you show me uh, in github or in vs code likewise so it was actually the interview part was actually like pretty smooth mm. and the vibe check round there were discussion around like uh, how much hour i need to work and uh, the pay scale and uh, a small about like small info about the company itself they also asked me like how you get into gsoc and what contribution i have made over there got it makes sense very cool uh, how was your gsoc by the way how did you get in what was the org uh, did you finish it finally yeah uh, so the organization was called open mrs so i started over like in jan 2024 back and i made over like mm, good prs before i joining so that actually made me join and i worked over a project called user onboarding so it's pretty heavily on front end stuff so it's actually like showing the users like the tutorials if it's a new user then walk through them through some of the tutorials mm-hmm. so yeah the whole app itself is like a emr like the medical record system is a separate micro front end so it's actually like a plugged in module to the entire app so yeah heavily on react and typescript stuff got it makes sense uh very cool uh what got you interested in web3 and how what would you suggest to someone who would want to you know get into web3 get a job internship grant so yeah the best way i would say like to join in some of the communities like super team build in public like whatever you are building like even if it's like a decentralized application just uh, share it over twitter and in that way so my first project itself like uh, in touch i got a dm like i also applied for colosseum hackathon mm-hmm. and i received some of the dms like in those websites itself like they are ready for the funding like can you pitch uh, it somewhere and yeah i have also done a meeting also uh, for uh, pitching my idea project idea so yeah that's the one of the way and sharing it in twitter and which will engage and get more views which basically turn out into some uh, joining into some of the communities super team also like i have also joined in wormhole if you are yeah got it very cool that's interesting yeah so it's just easier to get into web3 i think because lot less developers here um what are your plans are do you want to continue in web3 solana specifically this company or are you other niches that, that that you're interested in what do you want to do after your college ends so yeah uh, actually i want to ask you for a suggestion uh-huh. so uh, so my college actually ends after two months so mm-hmm. i have a campus placement on right uh, so it's around like uh, april june mm-hmm. like on, on that time period april may june so uh, i have a campus placement in my hand and i have this job like it's actually like 6 months and after that they said 6 months in contract and after that they said like it depends upon whether they actually need developers right. for the live website Makes so sense. yeah basically try to get clarity from the founders in terms of your performance and you know their bandwidth if they need developers uh, by the time you're joining your company um, if your college offer is good if your college offer isn't good then also you know keep looking out for other companies the good thing is now you have solana experience uh, of whatever two months right now but hopefully for six months in the, you know in the next six months so it will be easier for you to <coughs> interview at solana companies because not a lot of people have that like most people that are coming to solana are coming from the web 2 world either really experienced engineers in web 2 that are coming or people who already have some web 3 experience uh, so you know basically what would be nice would be you grind over here and you learn a lot of solana preferably get into smart contracts rust indexing the blockchain like standard things that companies do on a day to day basis uh, so that you become good in solana then it's very hard to find those engineers so if you become one of those engineers age isn't a barrier college se abhi graduate hoga that isn't a barrier uh, mm-hmm. it's easy to get good offers if you if you know solana well and specifically there also i i you know urge you to understand defi a little bit <coughs> how do dexes work and nft marketplaces because these are the ones that hire the most in the end uh, so you know uh, that would be a high level suggestion bakin you have a backup which is great uh, so you can always fall back to your college campus placement yeah but the campus placement is actually really bad and we have like a service agreement over there oh you have to stay there for so, two years yeah two years how much are they paying mm, it's for lp 
yeah uh the bonds are a little scary uh so try to basically you have now four months before you join that company so you know you have four months to figure out a job that will of course i mean if you get a job it'll probably pay more than four uh mm-hmm. but you know one that's probably substantially more uh so you know mm-hmm. aim for a 10 lp offer in the next four months um uh, and that's a very easy outcome if you're in solana probably more uh but if you're not in so if you don't understand solana some people but you know it's just hard to learn rust especially at such a young, young age um so if you very easily have clarity in the next one month you know solana may you won't be able to become really well uh then i would urge you to learn full stack mobile development devops whatever it is you and get really good at that uh and then you know, for join a company there if you can try solana for the next month and feel like you know you can become one of the good devs there because there aren't enough devs in solana um, or good devs in solana uh, then you know that's probably an easier outcome okay okay yeah any other questions yeah i'm also preparing like uh, if you have heard about summer of bitcoin mm-hmm. yeah so i'm also preparing for that and if that really turns in then uh, i'm looking to join yeah it's really good they the kind of assignments at least the pre their pre screening ra- round is really good they make you run a, a bitcoin validator of sorts so you know yeah. worst case you learn a lot from it best case you get in so yeah i would definitely recommend it anything else mm, yeah that's much all right it was so nice talking to you all the best and you know great to see you working in this online ecosystem and in super team and and hoping for more grants or you know jobs in the future let's talk again once you reach that 100k offer it's like easy to get a 100k offer in, in web3 compared to other niches uh, so you know you never know let's see yeah so take care bro have a good day bye 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 bye